perched on San Francisco's beautiful waterfront at the very edge of San Francisco Bay. Aquarium of the Bay is bustling with life. Underwater, there are jellies, rays, and sharks, and giant sea bass. Six feet long and 250 pounds. Giant sea bass. That's one big fish. There are about 20,000 fish and other fascinating forms of life all around us here at the Aquarium of the Bay, the only aquarium devoted entirely to the interpretation of the ecology of San Francisco Bay and the critters who depend on it. Well, Doug, we've got it all. We've got invertebrates from uh, intertidal invertebrates like a variety of sea stars. We've got schooling fishes. We've got big giant sea bass. We've got the seven gill shark, everyone's favorite, and of course, octopus. And not just any octopus, but these, giant Pacific octopus, the largest octopus species in the world. Masters of camouflage, adults can weigh more than 30 pounds, sometimes much more. They've got terrific eyesight and 18,000 suction cups that can both feel and taste. They're flexible, mysterious, and very, very smart. Personally, I like the fact that they'll interact with you. I mean, they actually recognize humans. Who knows what they think about us? But they will, they will interact with you. They will touch you. Um, they will take items out of your hands. They will throw items down on the floor if they're not interested in them. They have a lot of personality. In the wild, giant Pacific octopus live in the deep, away from the light, feed at night, and hide from sight. So these animals lead an incredibly secretive life in crevasses. You don't normally see them, but here at the aquarium, you can actually see them hand feed. And that's precisely what we get a chance to see. Exactly. Right? This is the intrepid biologist who works with our octopus. And what we try and do is present food in diverse ways. So it's kind of more fun and um, more stimulating for them. Biologist John Krupa tries to interest this very curious and intelligent octopus with a toy, a ball to play with for mental stimulation. Inside, he inserts a tasty smell. Oh, I think I want to take it back in my den. Oh, look at that. Just kind of swallows bye bye. it right up. <laughs> we visit one more clever and hungry octopus nestled in its comfortable retreat. This time, John comes calling with the octopus' favorite food item, a Dungeness crab who makes a wrong turn. Well, well this, this is, is crab is going right towards it. <laughs> this is a bad move That's if you're a crab. One. Whoa. Oh, holy cow. Wow. So you can see once they smell or see something they're interested in, they move quickly. They do move quickly, but if you come to Aquarium of the Bay, you can watch the octopus very closely. And 20,000 other animals too, swimming all around you. And witness firsthand the beauty diversity, and complexity of life within San Francisco Bay. It's a vulnerable aquatic world that needs the understanding and care of every visitor. But also I hope they have a greater understanding of what it takes to be a successful animal in the marine environment and why it's so important that we preserve the health of the bay so that wonderful creatures like giant Pacific octopus are here for future generations.